Thank you very much, Araba. And uh, good morning to you all. You're all welcome to our space here this morning. Um, okay. Honorable Minister, my colleague, government representatives, friends from academia, friends from corporate Ghana, friends from the media, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I consider it a, a great joy to welcome you all to the maiden edition of the Females in Tech Conference, the Femitech Conference. It gives me a warm feeling to be among great women doing marvelous things locally and internationally in the technology space. I am also happy to see young women who are passionate in the technology ecosystem present here. Strategically, the Femitech Conference coincides with this year's International Women's Day celebration, which is themed Digit All Innovation and Technology for Gender Equality. This year's Femitech Conference theme is advocating for gender equality through ICT. This theme is, as you, you can tell, is interwoven with the IWD, especially since empowering women through ICT has been a primary global concern for some time now. Though there has been a rapid increase in number of people who use the internet globally, in Africa, the statistics from ITU as of last year, 2022, show that an average of only 40% of Africa's population uses the internet. Despite the increase of internet usage on the continent, which has promoted the digital economy and birthed several, several platforms like the African Continental Free, free Trade Area, AFTA, among other platforms, Africa still needs to achieve its full digitalized potential. The numbers in Ghana as of last year show that internet penetration rates stood at 53% of the total population. In terms of numbers, just a few women in our sub-region hold high positions in the technology-related fields, which may also probably translate to a lack of STEM education, which I know the government has taken up a lot of. This is why we at uh, Ghana India Kofi Annan Center of Excellence in ICT, we have taken it upon ourselves that every year we will bring together women in tech from academia towards industry and policymakers to have conversations that are geared towards promoting equality and breaking the biases in the technology space while helping to nurture a, a generation of young women who are curious about technology to tap into the unlimited wealth of resources available to them. Ladies and gentlemen, the timing of the Femitech Conference allows us to have meaningful discussions about the current state and future of women in the technology industry. We here at GIKs also believe that women can make a positive impact and pave the way for future generations in technological development and innovation. So let us use this platform to collaborate, learn, and encourage each other towards achieving a common goal. And by doing so, it's essential to acknowledge the challenges women face in the tech space and to stand together in solidarity against discrimination and by us by amplifying our voices and becoming advocates for change. I also want to call on, the, on, the, on all the men to join this worthy cause because together we can build a future where our women will have equal representation and opportunities in the technology industry. At the Ghana India Kofiana Center of Excellence in ICT, we recognize the importance of diversity and inclusivity in the work, workplace. We celebrate the unique perspectives, skills, and talents that women bring to the table. Femitech reaffirms our commitment 
to gender equality and women's empowerment in the technology industry. I stand before you today as a male leader in this field, and I am proud to support gender equality and women's empowerment in technology space. I firmly believe that gender equality is both a moral and business imperative. Studies have shown that companies with greater gender diversity are more innovative, have better financial performance, and even more resilient to change. I would like to end with a famous quote from our, one of our own uh, Supreme Court justices, Justice Annie Ruth Jiage, that says, discrimination against women and racism are two sides of the same coin. I encourage you to participate actively in the sessions, engage meaningfully in meaningfully, meaningful conversations, and make new connections. We can break down barriers, empower each other, and drive positive change in the technology industry. Once again, welcome to our Females in Tech Conference on International Women's Day. I look forward to a day filled with learning, inspiration, and empowerment. Thank you very much, and good morning.